ages, I've been perfecting a makeup routine that balances looking great and feeling great, but with accentuating and really just embracing my own natural features. I feel like it's almost easier to put on a full face of makeup and make yourself not really look like yourself. Recently, I've just been really working on like loving myself and my skin, and it's totally okay if there's certain things you want to change. But this is a makeup routine video on how to achieve sort of a no makeup makeup look slash simple, very minimalistic makeup look. And you can definitely alter my steps to fit your own face shape and your preferences. Um, but yeah. So if you care to bear my terrible, terrible jokes and incredibly obnoxious YouTuber poses and freakishly unrealistic changes of angle, um, you might just enjoy this video. <laughs> so we are going to start the makeup routine. Hello. So this is my natural face. So I don't know why I started that off with such low energy. It's like the caffeine like increasingly started to work in my body as this video went on. But this is my natural skin. I'm just prepping my face with two Kiehl's products. One is the Skin Rescuer. This is really good for my skin type because I have really dry skin that has a lot of redness on it. This one is actually designed for that and it helps to combat fatigue. And then I have this little serum, which I honestly don't quite know what it does, but it does brighten my face. <laughs> it's what I've noticed and it makes me look a lot healthier. Okay, so while this sits into my face, I like to wait for the moisturizer to really like settle in. I'm going to fix my eyebrows, so this is going to be very visually pleasing for you. Then for brows, I'm just brushing them up and using this Marcel Eyebrow Duo. It comes with the gel and the stick. The stick? I guess the pencil. I'm just filling in my brows as lightly as possible. I don't want it to show too much. Just pretty much filling in any bald spots. Ew. Um, <laughs> I hate how that sounded, but then I'm just filling it in with the gel. Now is concealer time! There's no foundation in this routine, it's just concealer. If you want to add foundation though, feel free. Okay, we're gonna move over there though. So the way we're gonna go about this concealer is the same way you want your crush to think about you on your first date. Looking effortless, but lots of effort was put in. So contrary to like a full face of makeup where you might just conceal, we're gonna be doing this really carefully. <laughs> really, really carefully. I'm going to just be putting a little bit onto my finger because um, we really just want to minimize the amount of cake. <laughs> and now we pretend it's our first day at a new school and try to blend in. <laughs> Ironically, the more effortless you want it to look, the more effort you need to put in. So if you don't care if it looks like you have makeup on, you can just put the makeup on. Like, See, now I feel good. I feel a little bit more put together, but there is an unnecessary amount of shine going on on the face. So I'm going to set it with my Laura Mercier powder, AKA the freaking powder that apparently everyone and their mother owns. You put this where you don't want to shine. So I do like a good glow, but I do not want to glow on my chin. There's nothing good that comes out of light reflecting off of your chin. And also right here, I despise glowing here. So maybe because of my lack of cheekbone, I also don't want to really shine on the sides of my nose, as well as my overly concealed under eye area. Do not want to shine there. The way I do this is I kind of just look around like a creep. Okay, see, like right here, do we want to shine? Not, not particularly. And then right there. Am I a freaking tin foil? I don't want to be <laughs> bouncing light off of everything. I'm really good. Also, because I very unflatteringly get red under here, I'm gonna pop some on under there. Straight, straight up looks like something else, not setting powder. Not something I want near my nose. Um, but <laughs> I'm scared to snip. I concealed really heavily here and here, which is where most of my freckles are. So now my freckles are feeling sad and hidden like the bag of Sour Patch Kids I have on my bedside table. I'm going to ever so carefully redraw them, but only exactly where they are. I'm not adding any. So carefully, guys. <laughs> Next up, I want to bronze. So I could stay natural, but still get that bronzy look. I'm gonna be using some toned down bronzers. I have this one from Lancome. So Priscilla, AKA Nutella's Hot on YouTube, is a certified makeup artist and told me that you're not actually supposed to go when you're bronzing. You're actually supposed to smile. So that's my trick. I just smile. <laughs> now the jaw. Also using a very small brush. I'm going to be using the same bronzer and just contouring my nose ever so slightly. Hey, it's voice over me again because there was no audio here, but I'm just putting the same bronzer on my eyelids. Okay, now with a little bit of blush. I'm trying to make it blend a little bit better with my skin, so I'm going to take the highlight for a little glow, and I'm actually going to be using the orange. Smiling again. 
Then I'm gonna grab the highlight and go right at the tip of my nose. We're redirecting the tin foil light <laughs> to the areas we want. Right here. Now we're gonna go back there to show you my two most precise, and probably steps that make most of the difference on my face, so. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> my biggest tip for lips. It's really the stupidest secret ever. It's not really a secret at all. I feel like everybody knows this. It's just the precision and level of detail you put into lining your lips, literally it, with a lip liner that is exactly your lip color. Exactly, exactly your lip color. That might be the only thing that's a little bit difficult to find and you also need one that has kind of like a creamy consistency. I genuinely just could not find any lip balm that morning so my lips are more dry than an angry text but <laughs> I'm starting off by outlining my lips for exactly their size and I don't mess up by completely overlining my lips from the beginning and then I just slightly go over gradually. Color the inside corners. I literally look like I have my lips done. Now instead of coloring the whole lip in, I'm just gonna smack my lips together so it sort of blends on its own. That was so attractive. So now we have options. Is you want it to look natural, so obviously having a matte lip is not gonna look so natural. Just taking a Kleenex and rubbing the crap out of it. So if you want to brighten it a little bit, you could use a lighter lip gloss. You could also opt for a clear or like almost clear, really sheer pink. This Booksome one, Booksome one in clear. Actually, I think this is clear. It's ever so slightly tinted. I kind of would prefer that. For example, if I put on the Marc Jacobs one, the color would be very pigmented. See? But this one, which oddly smells like coffee, doesn't add any color but adds a lot of shine. We use lip liner and a little bit of lip gloss, so no matter how close to your lip color the lip liner is, it will show a little bit. But it looks very natural and looks very like put together and clean, which is what I'm going for here. So if you ever wanna switch up your mascaras and you don't know what to get, my two top recommendations ever, Benefit Bad Gal Bang, Lancome Monsieur Big. I switch between these all the time, I could literally do one eye of each right now. It's going to do the exact same effect. Should I do that? I decided to hop on back over here. Okay, so I interchange between them on a daily basis. So I'm really just going to like rush and roulette it right now. I'm going to pop them in this shower cap. And I'm just going to grab one. You know what? This is the first one I touched. Don't call me out and say you picked the one you wanted because you can feel their difference. I'm just going to use this. If anything, this one's much older than that one because that one I just got a refill. So... Don't hate me. Are you ready for this? I promise you you're not. There's not much to say here because I'm applying mascara, so I'm just gonna tell you about my little problem of the day. I'm craving a coffee, but we don't have the coffee pods that I really want anymore, so I made a matcha, but I over-concentrated the amount of matcha in my cup and it's just not that yummy. And yeah, so that's my sad sob story of the morning. Let's continue on. <laughs> no, wait, never mind. We're done the look, so I'm just gonna stop talking while I pose. <laughs> Those were some foolishly YouTuber poses of me, but this is my finished makeup look. I hope you got a little bit of makeup inspiration, some new tips, or maybe just some visual inspiration. I don't know. If you'd like to, please subscribe. <laughs> I'm almost at 500 subscribers, which is cool. And hopefully I will see you in another one of my videos. Bye.